Melbourne footy fans and on Friday night at the G, the Blues got up over Collingwood and got their season back on track. Another win to get back on the board and four more points in the tally. Still a long way to go till September, but it was a great victory and it felt good. Sure, it's a few days later now and the euphoria is starting to wear off. Taking the mickey out of Collingwood supporters are starting to become a little bit cruel. But it still feels good. We beat the team that has been cruising very well at the top of the table and almost unnoticed. It had me stunned. Collingwood have been by far the best team in the competition this season. Consistent, regular performers, not showing any little hiccups into losing games. Until they come up against the Blues. Twice this season, that's the score, 2012, 2-0. Hopefully we meet them in the finals and make it 3-0. Talking about individual aspects of the game, it was almost a typical Carlton game that I've come to expect over the past few seasons. A lot of basic errors, a lot of fumbles, a lot of missed kicks, had me screaming at the telly quite a few times. And at the end of it, I sort of realised now that's how they play. Carlton are not a polished, professional, every move on the superbly skilled football team. They're a team that's evolved over the past four to five years of being cobbled together with desperate measures to get players because of lost draft picks, because of transgressions by the club. And somehow Ratton has managed to perform it into a team unit that with its full potential, including as many of its good top quality players, we're still lacking a few in it can beat anybody. It's a team that has players that look like they're second guessing themselves out there. That look like they don't know what to do and they'll make mistakes, they'll hesitate, they'll kick, they'll take wrong options. But it's that overall run, it's that continual of evolution of energy and power and attack. There's something there which I call the intrinsic Carlton spirit. That's the only word I can give it and I apply it directly to having the coach Mr Ratton there in charge. Forget about all of the nonsense that was going on. Look, I was really pissed off about that. Carlton fans, what do you call yourselves turning on your coach? He's just gone and slapped a big fat fish right in the middle of your face now. He's beaten the top team. And you spent, so many of you have spent this week criticising his inability to coach. He's pulled the result, hadn't he? Sit back and think. Are you truly a Carlton fan? Or are you there to bend with the flow of the wind and let yourself be jerked along by media representatives who tell stories to make a living, to get your attention, to sell newspapers. If you're a Carlton fan, that doesn't matter. You're a Carlton fan because of one reason. Winning premierships and supporting your club while they win premierships. We are arrogant. We're opinionated. We say the wrong thing. We do the wrong thing. We don't care. We are Carlton. Our season is going to be really tough from now on in. We can't afford to drop games. We're going to be on the edge of our seats following our team's fortune as they try to play their way through and make up from all those games we lost through injury, lack of form, lack of confidence. But now this is where the true character comes out of the fans to match that of the character of the players. To show them that we really are fair income. Go you blues and bring on September! It's the Australian way, the grand final shout.